Hello. Dr. Julius Adewoko was born and raised in Nigeria. He recently completed his doctorate at the University of Florida. And here at the 24th EUFRO World Congress in Salt Lake City, Utah, he has been presented with an EUFRO Student Award for Excellence in Forest Science. The award recognizes outstanding individual achievements in forest science made by master's degree students or equivalent and is to encourage their further work within the fields of research covered by the union. Julius joins us now. Thank you so much, Bob. Congratulations on your doctorate. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, I touched briefly on the fact that you're from Nigeria originally and have uh, come to school here. Tell us a little bit more about that, please. Well, so I started out, of course, in Nigeria and I obtained my bachelor's degree in forestry at the Federal University of Technology, Akure. Um, and of course, I pursued forestry when it was not popular, so I was like a joke of a campus, or forestry was a joke of a campus. Um, but again, I've, after I completed my bachelor's degree, I went ahead and pursued my master's degree at the University of Arkansas in Monticello, that's in the United States. And after that, I felt like I guess I need to learn more, <laughs> and I decided <laughs> to pursue a PhD. And I completed my PhD this past May, 2014. That's, that's terrific. What sparked your interest in, in forest science in the first place? Um, I grew up really visiting, occasionally visiting my, fa my grandparents' farm. And I remember that even as a little child, I was feeling that in intuitive instinct to uh, see the resources, natural resources, more managed, managed more effectively. So. When I finished my, when I completed my high school, I remember a friend of my father visited us and he kind of suggested to my father that there's a great prospect in forestry. And when he mentioned it, it's like it struck a chord in me. And before I knew it, I was applying to the university to study forestry, which I didn't know how crazy it was until I got to the <laughs> university. And of course, I pursued forestry and wood technology, uh, completed my bachelor's. Okay, now this. The UFRO Award, what does it mean to you? The UFRO Award means a lot to me um, because I'm going to tie it back to the initial question that you asked about my motivation in forestry. So I had, I, I, I went ahead, I chose forestry as a discipline to study for my bachelor's. I got to the university and I realized that forestry was a joke on campus. This was a nightmare because I, I was expecting that it would be a very celebrated, well-revered and respected discipline. So the, the task was on me to really motivate myself and to motivate my colleagues because I was the only one that applied to study the course or the discipline. All others were just offered the discipline because they couldn't make the cards to enter into other disciplines. Hmm. So this IUFRA award validates what has been my long held conviction that there's a great opportunity, recognition and opportunity to advance in forestry for those who commit themselves to you know, hard work and they're really dedicated to understanding and adding value to this profession. Okay, do you think you'll continue to remain involved with the UFRO? Absolutely, if the opportunity to present, or as the opportunity to present itself, I'm gonna be more involved, and I'm gonna confess this, that I've not been previously involved, I've been more involved with International Forestry Student yeah. Association, I occupied four different positions over a span of six years, and of course I served uh, in different capacity, including leading delegation to the United Nations Forum on Forest, and as well as to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the 16th Conference of Parties. So moving forward, I think I'm going to jump at every opportunity I get to be more involved Terrific. in how you feel. Terrific. Now, have you been here for the full week at this Congress? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, I have. I currently, I currently work with uh, a company, and it's just kind of hard to get a full week of the job I in see. a corporate when environment. When you just started, especially. Eh? <laughs> yes. Well, tell me about the job. Well, so after I graduated, or shortly before I graduated, I went to the University Career Fair and I talked with someone who ended up being someone in the financial industry. Now, I have a great motivation for forest management, um, natural resource management, a broader sense of it. So I have always had this passion to understand how investment works because from my previous international engagement, I realized that for us to really generate the social political goodwill, 
to advance forest and natural resource management, you've got to have some good investment structure in place, and that's going to be a great job uh, to pursue. I, that's what I was convinced about. So when I graduated or when I met this person at the career fair, I talked with him and he said, well, their firm has a very diverse experience in structuring investment portfolio. And of course, they talked about my experience of geographic information sure. systems as well. So they said they would benefit from my, from my experience with geographic information systems. And of course, on my side, I knew I was going to benefit from truly understanding, of course, without going to the university one more time. <laughs> um, so I realized that I would I'll be able to have an industry and some experience with structuring investment and, and developing new investment solutions that could drive the next frontier of forest, sustainable forest management. Uh, so that's, that's where I am right now, and that's where I'm doing. It sounds like a great strategy going forward. Thank, thank you very much thank for your you time, Thank you so much, Julius. Bob. I appreciate your time. I appreciate and it, too. All right, thank you.